Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello everyone, Gorilla Mezzo in the house. We are live from Bakersfield, California. And we are here tonight to watch another installment of Mr. Jim McMahon's private wrestling show. I mean, Monday Night Claw. <laughs> yes, it's the best wrestling show out there. Un unchallengeable by anybody, it is. It stands alone like a colossus. Yep. Yeah. All right, and let's start off with the same match we saw last week with a different stipulation, <laughs> always creative there. It is Cock and Ball Torture with Wanger against the crew that CR Capital EWE in a Tornado Tag Elimination match. Last week, the, uh, the uh, timer equity left these two teams with what would normally be a draw. The crew counted as a win by Dio standards, and that's crew capital C. Nope, I fucked it all up. That joke is now dead and buried. If only. So we're going to yeah, right. We're gonna do it again. This time it's elimination. There's definitely going to be a winner in this one, I fucking hope. And <laughs> yeah. Here we go. It might take us about it might, it might take us an hour and a half just to have this one match, but hopefully it will end <laughs> at some point. No, it should we'll should be all right. Out. Should be. Well, all right it's six of the absolute favorites of the JFW. If it takes an hour, that is none of what I said is true. But if it <laughs> takes an hour, we're all in this together, folks. Yep. <laughs> Oh boy, what an entrance. CBWT. <laughs> yep. Cock and ball wang torture. Have, uh, looks like they are really unifying as a force to be reckoned with. Had a good performance last week, but the 15 minute timer did not treat them well. Can they overcome tonight? We're about to find out. Here they come. Look at that big man flanked by the literal fucking goblin and that weird pot-bellied Australian dude. <laughs> yep. The EAB champion. What a monster. <laughs> Freakzilla the Tank Wagner is a pretty good name, isn't it? And there they are, extra arms, butt champion, table leg wanger, the literal fucking goblin, Mordem, and the weird ass Australian cocky. Get ready for some diaper antics and some uh, <laughs> glorious, I guess, uh, performances, because uh, that's what they uh, aim to bring you. Yeah. You seem to have really come around on table leg wanger, Jim. He's a despicable piece of shit. Ah, you just remembered your character. Good job, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good entrance, though, isn't it? It's all right. Oh, brilliant! Look, the goblin does that. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, that part was accidentally perfect. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, it couldn't have been better. Amazing. Oh man. And now their opponents coming out of Wales. <laughs> The crew, that's CR Capital E, W, E. They are Welsh. It's a sheep thing because they fuck sheep. la dee da <laughs> They certainly do. That's how you get on the Welsh Blood Bowl team. I believe it. Again, I haven't got, I haven't got Spenny carrying it. It's a complete fuck up. <laughs> there is a reason for that. Fix it after tonight. I've written it down on a banana skin, so that's that's perfect, isn't it? Can't imagine a better source of note taking. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, he focuses too much on his legs. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, the crew that CR Capital EWE versus Cock and Ball and Wang Torture <laughs> Elimination Match. Everyone going at the same time. This is a tornado tag match. This is going to be chaos. It sure is. Hello, Flicky Flack. Hello, hello. And here we go, folks. Oh, boy. Oh, and right out of the <laughs> gate. Huge assault by Wanger right on the leader there, Spenny. But Cocky swapping <laughs> in. Taking a few punches from Artemis on Wanger's behalf. And now, <laughs> Cock and Ball Torture and Wanger are in pretty decent control here. Yeah, Wanger did a lot of dancing around there, a lot of moonwalking, but he's managed to get yeah. <laughs> get involved now and get kicked off. Oh, but here head. comes Spenny, using those giant thighs to drop Wanger. <laughs> it looked like he missed, but somehow connected. Yeah. Well, we've got the two leaders facing off. Uh, we, we had the two snipers facing off for a second there. More damn the <laughs> testicle sniper, but uh, they seem to have changed now. So now it's uh, a literal fucking goblin versus the uh, the absolute shitter, <laughs> Artemis. <laughs> no, and he's bamboozling them both, is Moradon. It sure is. Dicing him instantly, Jim. Dicing him. <laughs> it's the only explanation. <laughs> Wanger's still pretty content to not actually participate in this match. <laughs> oh, here he comes to Mordam's aid, maybe. Oh, takes a long way to punching <laughs> Benny's back there, but he did get him. Oh, here's the pin on Cocky, though. Just the one count. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> yeah. Oh, one scene. Artemis, Artemis does generally fail against goblins, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. He struggles with them. Hello, one scene. Oh, that snap big, 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 DDT big, big. onto the nine feet of concrete out there. Oh, slaps him back though. Cocky wrecking Dio in the corner there. Oh, there's that little point of a slam. <laughs> oh, huge uppercut. Oh, God, this is three and versus now, one in the uh, ring. Yeah, Artemis not even allowed to play. Oh, but he's, do he's doing his finisher. They can't stop him. Oh, no. <laughs> a misstep by Wanger and Morgan <laughs> could not prevent him from hitting the finisher. Cocky in trouble here, but Mordam to his aid now. The bicycle kick and then Wanger taking it to Dio. Wanger going up top for that elbow drop. Oh, this is going to be a mistake. Spenny's right there. Yep. Yep, and that's why. And I don't know if you spotted, but Wanger missed with his, but he went for the ball shot and missed. That was huge swing and a miss oh, for, I did. for Wanger. I, I didn't see that. Wanger having all sorts of trouble tonight. Yep. Oof, oh, big superplex from the top rope there. Slides, and now finally a pin on Cocky, but uh, Mordam able to break it up, keep yeah, them alive. Instant, instantly breaking the pinner. <laughs> oh, the roll on Cocky, though. This could be it for him. It could. Oh, oh wow. last second, Just... Wanger puts his, fit, his foot through Cocky to break up the pin, but it was effective. <laughs> and oh. then Artemis pile driven into the mat here. Wanger should pin him. He's not gonna. He's gonna run around for a bit. Yep. Oh, Wanger really wanted to go up top. Oh, <laughs> he nails oh. Dio! <laughs> oh my goodness, he sniped Dio coming in the ring. How's that feel, Dio? <laughs> Drilled him. Hello, Lingari. The accent of art. He's Welsh, isn't he? 
Yeah, they're all Welsh. Well. That's why they're called the crew. That CR capital WWE. <laughs> it's a sheep fucking joke because mm. they're all from Wales, and that's what they fuck sheep. Oh, it looks like uh, some sweet chin music for Artemis. Boosh. Taking it, the pin. Dio's there though. He could get in. He's a little dazed. Ref very slow on the count. Cocky and... could have broken it. Could have stopped Dio, but <laughs> instead <laughs> it did fuck off. Cocky and Mordam <laughs> celebrating instead of protecting the pin. But now the crew, all three of them, in very big trouble here. <laughs> oh, and now, oh, look at this, cocky. Oh, the sharpshooter. Yeah, ref, oh, ref is fucked. The ref <laughs> is fucked, folks. Oh, and fucked. Artemis taps out. He concedes, says, fuck this, it's just the children's game. It doesn't mean anything. I'm out of here. That definitely wasn't an elimination match, Jim. Well, it was, it was said elimination, didn't it, when I started doing it? I'm not blaming you. <laughs> well, it looks like... <laughs> Cock and ball and wang torture. Uh, this was supposed to be an elimination match, so yeah. this was supposed to continue for a while. But it looks like we got 2K'd, folks, so... Yeah. I can Shit tell you one did. thing with great certainty, though. There was other programming uh, in the wrestling world this week in which these kind of fuck-ups do not happen, and you can expect the matches that you get advertised and you can expect a great time every time, and that's going to be this Wednesday night, 8 p.m. UTC, the shit tournament right here for some weird reason on Jimmy Fantastic's <laughs> Twitch stream. It is funny how it's, it's broadcasting the exact same same uh, channel, yet uh, somehow we're rivals. I don't really understand that myself, but... Uh, well, that's how it works in the wrestling world, Jim. That Deal is, with that it. Is, They're yeah. taking over. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And next up, the Waitrix uh, coming off of a nice win last week, going up against Kiwi Nutsack Attack. Can he continue his tear after his shocking return the other night? Can he continue his tear through the super weight heavy division, super heavyweight division, and uh, maybe make a case to face Table Leg Wanger for the extra arms belt? Let's find out. Kiwi Nutsack Attack versus Thaw next. Yeah. <laughs> Super weight division heavy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Everyone knew what I meant. <laughs> division. We can't all pre we can't all prescribe to the uh, mentality of just don't talk so you don't so say anything wrong that you do, Jim. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he is KNA. What a big bastard he is. Yep. Lumbering his way down. He's uh, ready for this one. He's got his flippy flops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is fine. This salute is fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. He's doing the tomahawk chop. I know, it's fine. Which is racist in its own right, but... Is it? <laughs> yes. No. Oh. But it's acceptable racism by most American standards. The whole tomahawk <laughs> baseball chop thing. It's just more appropriating Native American uh, culture. Oh, oh boy, look yeah, at this. Yeah, right, and here comes Thaw, teleporting in, ready for a fight. Oof, champ, no. I, I know it is, champ. Thaw's entrance would be unbearable if he didn't have the best music in the JFW. <laughs> yeah. End the turn. Oh, that's a good sake. idea, Frostler. End the for, fucking uh, turn, right man! <laughs> They did, yeah, Lynn Gary, yeah, the Washington uh, Redskins are no longer Redskins, they're, uh, 
like Washington football team or something shit. They've just yeah, they've just started doing that in a lot but there there are um there are a lot and I mean a fucking lot of uh, sports teams with appropriated names like that up and down in the majors minors. You know, like my high school was the Chieftains, which ultimately isn't really offensive or anything until like the mascot was just some dude dressed up like a Native American war chief who would dance around like an idiot. Oh, dear. Do the Chiefs yeah, do you that? Know, the Kansas City Chiefs? Uh, uh, no, the Chiefs, um, they kind of get a weird free pass. I'm, I've never been really clear as to why. Um, but that one's like, they, they only, they don't use, so the big thing is they don't use human iconography. They use a, an arrowhead. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, all of like the tomahawk chop chants and stuff like from the Atlanta Braves in baseball, all of that stuff has been problematic for a while, but that's neither here nor there <laughs> right now. What's here is that big elbow or lariat by thaw and now countered into that dragon screw by Kiwi. We have ourselves a super heavyweight match kicking off. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, to answer your question, Lean Gary, yes, the, the the Redskins have done that after 20 years of people asking them to do that. <laughs> oh, the big neck pop there by Thaw. He's ready <laughs> to roll him up for a pin. That's not what you expect in a heavyweight match. No. Super heavyweight match. Oh, oh no. This... <laughs> Last second counter. Oh, this looks like uh, some kind of <laughs> bizarre, <laughs> bizarre night in a motel. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Very flexible these two. Just de de deceptively so. <laughs> oh, he's doing the EAB's elbow drop. Unbelievable, Jeff. He's he's a he's culturally appropriate to hear his elbow drop. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, yeah. I I, I mean I, I think most people would generally agree with that statement, Chimp. But I I feel like I don't know. I I, I mean this is hypothetical, obviously, but I I'm not entirely sure that there are many. Um, Native American tribes that are calling for something like that. I think they're calling for something more like, hey, just fuck off and stop making fun <laughs> of our history. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea at that. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk out of my ass on something like that. But I agree, that would obviously be a, a, a reasonable thing to offer. <laughs> Hello, EAB. Uh, you didn't miss a lot, Gengar. You didn't miss a lot. Just an EAB elbow drop from uh, Kiwi. <laughs> oh, vicious neck crank. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen that in matches before, Jim. We have, though I haven't got that sound bite yet. Or maybe I do. Uh, did you get that? I just recorded it. sounds a little dry, but I was like, ah, eh, all the ones from like a stream sound kind of shitty because of everything else going on. Yeah. So. <laughs> I have oh, did hand. you put it in? I can't hear it. So. I haven't put it in. No. Uh, fair enough. Uh, it's in the file. It's in the it's in the file, so I can do it. I just I haven't done it. I, I would prepare it. yourself for hearing that soundbite every single time something goes wrong in Blood Bowl from yeah. now until eternity. <laughs> It'll be pretty awful. That's the other reason I didn't want it to be super loud and obnoxious. I was like, this will probably get played a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Kiwi dumping thought of the outside, maybe looking for a weapon. No, this is not extreme rules. That would have been risky. And now sends him right back in the ring. <laughs> and Thaw able to get to his feet without getting attacked and take over here. Look at this. Oh, beautiful half Nelson suplex. Uh. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Night shift brewing treating me well today. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't know where it is, then. I thought I'd put it in the right place, but no. Oh, it's got to be MP3, and it wasn't. Oh, I don't know what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look later. I, th I, think I, I think I sent it as MP3. Oh, look at that headshot there. Ah, he 
put his beak right into his testicles, and now Kiwi Nutsack Attack, <laughs> he's feeling it. He could win this match, Jim. He could. That would be a huge just... upset in my book. Yeah, except he just missed. And then, oh, no, he's <laughs> counted. Yeah, sure has. Oh, and then there he is. oh no, the ball shot, the thaw. Is Kiwi going to win this? Is he going to steal it? Ref does nothing about it. <laughs> What no thought place. kicking out. Oh, you got to do a little bit more to deflate the hammer of Thaw. <laughs> Gotta love the theatrical bullshit there. I know, it's so good. <laughs> I was looking at the other ball shots um, the other day. They're all pretty good. There's a few other ones that I think we don't use that are also pretty excellent. <laughs> yeah, it's true. There's a, there's a lot of good ones. Whoa. Vicious neck prank. I've seen that in matches before, Jim. We have. I really like the one that Kiwi did earlier where, where he sets him up like he's going to stomp his gut and then he just drives his <laughs> face right into the dude's balls. I like to believe that someday if I'm ever in a fight, I will be able to resort to that move. <laughs> you do that to one dude and everyone's going to look at you and they're like, that dude just put his entire face through that guy's testicles. I'm going nowhere near him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Thaw countering out oh powers into that chin breaker lovely counter and now that beautiful european uppercut and now thaw on the uh, on the attack here and this could be the final run oh, here hey, for kiwi once thaw gets going it's hard to stop him we'll get that burning hammer off Oof. You might not and of need course, it. we did see Thaw last week on shit, falling to uh, to shit's uh, shit's own Ardvac in a cage match. Not exactly the environment you want to. Oh, there it Oof. is, the most beautiful European uppercut in all of professional wrestling. Only because Jimmy's injured. Sure, I'll <laughs> give it to you. Oh no, just the two count. Anyway, Thaw fell, was eliminated from the sh uh, the skirm. That's a high intensity tournament. Uh, after losing in a cage match to Ardvac, definitely not his uh, not his environment of choice. Oh, here and here comes that burning hammer, Jim. Boom. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. You got to think so. Ref right there for the count. And Boom. it is Thaw, Thaw has the win. Kiwi Nutsack well fought, but Thaw now 2-0 and in his return here. Very good stuff. Yeah, incredible. I'm not going to count that uh, Norse country match because, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, and look at this. Oh, oh, a little bit of a sign of respect from Kiwi Nutsack. Or was he going to? I wouldn't fall for this one if I were Thaw. <laughs> nah, looks good. Looks good. Yeah, Thaw's a good guy, so he wouldn't tell him to fuck off. No, but you would have thought Kiwi Nutsack attack would have dropped down and hit him in the balls there. Yeah, that would have been ideal, wouldn't it? That sure would have been. Oh, that's a pretty good one, Gengar. Yeah. Mass Guardian. <laughs> yeah. That'd be good. I don't know if you misspelled Ass Guardian on purpose or not, but I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. And ever ponderous, the table matches of the JFW sure are something to behold. And now we've got Clavius versus Shawnee. These are the top two guys, in most people's opinions, in the light heavyweight division, formerly known as the Chaos Chosen Championship division. But currently, uh, like a 600-pound demon has that belt, and no one <laughs> seems to be vying for it. So unsure what's going to happen there. But what we do know is Clavius and Shawnee were 1A and 1B in last week's elimination match. Clavius came out on top. And now they're going to have to try and put each other through a table to see who can win in the one-on-one -on -one competition. Yeah. <laughs> Clavius's eyebrows looking like two or one two halves of a broken table already. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But he is a sexy boy. He sure is. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, speaking of botches, Jim, you saw the yeah, you saw the Matt Hardy uh, injury, right? Oh Ooh, good, yeah. Scary stuff. Then there was also that guy slipping, uh, Matt Seidel, I think, slipping trying to do that shooting star press. Oh, Brutal, yeah. terrifying. Bad night in uh, AEW. 
But hey, those are the little leagues. We're talking JFW mm -hmm. action here. This is where the big boys play, oh, like yeah. Clavius. The innovator of the RKO, a move that has been co-opted by Randy Orton. <laughs> Clavius is the one who created it. He absolutely is. I did not love that at all, Gengar. I hated that. I hated every single thing about that. I didn't see. I actually didn't see that answer. I don't watch AEW. I just saw those highlights. Yeah. No, I, I don't think you should love that at all, should you? No. No. I, I mean, I know. I know what Gengar meant. I'm sure. But like, yeah, that match should have been ended the second his head yeah. hit the ground. Yeah. Clave will, will be appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I love that Shawnee's entrance has pyros that he has accidentally edited out of the <laughs> out of the shot because of the camera work. <laughs> and his opponent. Oh, really my Ancy. God. oh Ancy, that yeah, I have I have a friend who's a, a photographer who's worked with uh AEW a bunch. I saw him posting. He went. He was pretty upset about that, and like a lot of people were. And I'm just like, why the fuck do people still want to see Jr. calling wrestling? Like, like all that shit aside, like it's always it was always hidden in the past because he was sitting down next to Jerry the King Lawler, who was <laughs> saying far worse stuff at any given moment. Mm -hmm. But like every time I've watched AEW and heard Jr., I'm like, that dude should have retired ten years ago. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. I don't get why people still think he's this, like, goat. Well, it's, he used to be goat, didn't he? Yeah, and which is fine, but, like, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> Tom Brady used to be the goat, but now he's retired and doesn't play football anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so we can, true. So we can respect the fact that he was the greatest of all time. He only played for one team, and it was the most storied, storied career <laughs> and dynasty in sports history and it'll never ever ever happen again and they certainly wouldn't put on some like diet coke version of the 2000 you know 2010s run patriots with him and gronkowski and... <laughs> never oh dear oh my god yeah when he called okay so that chris statlander is a friend of mine Dude, I heard about that, calling her fat, and I'm like, she's a fucking stunt double. Like, she, she she started off doing, like, stunt double work. She's one of the most, like, like athletic and, like, amazingly tough women I've ever met in my life. And to have, to have a guy who basically can't look at his own penis call her fat <laughs> is just absurd to me. Yeah, that was, I, think you, I think you showed me, uh, didn't you? I thought she had a good look for a wrestler. I thought that. She's I great. Yeah, that she's too. fantastic. She's fantastic. But she's like, she's tough as nails too, man. I've seen her do some real hardcore shit. <laughs> Ooh, uh. <laughs> Lucky Skuro. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, Jesus. Fuck <laughs> off, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god yeah she she tore acl i think she's gonna be out for a while all right again i, I like once once aew poaches all of our guy all of our guys and girls i stopped paying attention to them but i was pretty bummed to see uh, i was pretty bummed to see she got hurt Oh, dear me. All right. Well, there is a the ladder match going on between these two guys. Yeah. <laughs> ladder matches, as we've learned in the past, can struggle with the uh, rulings in the JFW. We've seen two ladders needed for a resolution, in which case one ladder broke when no one went through it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, and well... Now, Shawnee trying to set Clavius up already on that ladder. Might have gotten himself in some trouble, though. It's fucking... I'm saying ladders. Thank you, Chimp. Table. Yeah, table. <laughs> All of these are tables, not ladders, clearly. <laughs> tables, ladders, and chairs. Clavius could literally turn 90 degrees and end this match, but chooses not to. <laughs> yeah. 
table matches don't really make a lot of sense, do they? They're up there with, uh, yeah, with what's it called, cage matches. If the game could do more of the cool shit that you can do in the game with the AI, then it would be pretty cool. Because yeah. you can do a lot of cool table stuff in the game, but I. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> breaking kayfabe once again. We're all over the place tonight, Jim. <laughs> that table precariously set up. Shawnee battling back, trying to get Clavius. Uh, and he's going to work on those legs. Soften him up for the uh, figure four leg lock. It will do absolutely nothing. <laughs> If only there was, Gengar. If only there was. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great at Buried Alive match. I would enjoy that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sounds good. Ooh. Oh, no, and here we go. Real close to danger here. Oh, he, oh, he, he teleported past the... A very, a very nimble move by Clavius to stay out of danger. <laughs> Knocks the table over. Doesn't count as a break, folks. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well... <laughs> Johnny... Punching him directly through that table. Clavius really needs to reassess his offense. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, shit. Well, folks, this is what we've all come to expect from the JFW. I was going to DDT him right onto that table, though. Yeah. Clavius oh, with his favorite yeah. move. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think you probably would, Bezel. That would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, sets it up in the corner. Are we oh gonna boy. see Shawnee whipped right into this now? Nope. No. Oh no, oh Clavius! Boy. Oh, it doesn't break though. It doesn't break. Clavius has new life. Oof. Chopped into the table and now. Oh, oh the low blow on Clavius, but hey. Low blow all you want. It's not a table. He hasn't gone through it. This match continues. Oh. And he hits the table again. <laughs> Chopped into the table again. Oh, God. This is just teetering on the edge of disaster for Clavius. <laughs> Can Shawnee get the win here? If he gets a win, he, in most people's eyes, he'll be at least even with Clavius, who won last week. Yep. Or he could brain worms into the table. <laughs> Yep. He's got him again. Is he going to chop him again? Yes, he is. No, he's gonna... Yes, he is. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, all of this is all well and good, but he has not put him through that table yet. And here comes another chop. <laughs> well, we might be uh, having a glitch in the Matrix, folks. Yep, this is not good for Shoney if the only move he can do on that is a... Is it is a, uh, <laughs> is a chop? Oh. No, it's not a chop this time. Oh, here it is. This has got to be it. it and is. that is it. Shawnee, exploder suplex <laughs> through the table. Shawnee, your winner. No way, Shawnee. <laughs> Glitch in the clay tricks. <laughs> oh, All right, well, Shawnee lost last week in the elimination match that Clavius won, but winning here in the table match, and I gotta say, I think we're gonna see another match to between these two next week, Jim. Yeah, rubber match. <laughs> <laughs> and, before, and before you ask Gengar, a rubber match does not involve putting a condom on. <laughs> and whatever is completely enclosed in a gigantic six Look, condom losers. <laughs> oh, dear. No, oh, boy, it's right. the tag team. Yeah, next up, Demon Prince Rick Reckless. Bezel versus Norse Country. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Uh, Bezel's got one horn. On display. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Uh, in this particular case, Bezel, I'm going to have to go with uh, North Country. <laughs> Please don't say that. <laughs> what? I can't say country? Well, because it, it'll be just picked up by the, uh, by the, like it's a bot, isn't it? So it doesn't know if you're saying country or... It's got to know I'm saying country. No, I don't know. You can't, you can't ban the word country, Jim. <laughs> yeah, but it was the way you said it the first time. <laughs> I'm saying country. That's how I say it. That's how Americans say it. <laughs> country. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. and Bezel, Bezel fired up for his big boy there. <laughs> and here we go. Bezel. The chaos chosen. Rick wearing that belt. No one knows if it'll ever come off his waist again. <laughs> He's basically been unstoppable since winning that belt, except for, you know, Bezel. Yeah, the times he was stopped. <laughs> oh, and uh, Bezel having a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a mat uh, hump there. And, uh, oh, 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 we didn't think this through, Jim. <laughs> oh, well, we did not think that through. He slaps him on the ass as well, brilliant. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that was great, wasn't it? Oh, we definitely didn't think that one through. <laughs> and here are the challengers. Space Cadet, Mora Plovatch, Norse Country. Yeah, thank you. I think no sea nuts might be better, to be honest. <laughs> oh dear. There was a there was a UFC fighter called Big Country, wasn't there? That's pretty funny. God, that chest the chest hair is brilliant, isn't it? Yep, it really is. <laughs> We we should probably get more Plovatch to grow his upper arm hair out. Because <laughs> Space has got all that leg hair and he's got none. Yeah. Just to really just to really match her, uh, hair. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, Roy Nelson. Yeah. Did he? <laughs> Sassy space cadet. Oh boy. So tired. No way, he looks crazy now, doesn't he? Looks like a four shot. Maybe it is. <laughs> is it a four shot? And we are underway. Demon Prince Rick Reckless taking it to Space Cadet. Yep. Oh, but he uses that helmet to counter, but not quick enough for the demon. And uh, Rick running right through him. Oh, kicks him in the head while he's down, too. Oof. Space is 
<laughs> North Country things. Oh yeah! <laughs> Rick talking about the changes to Blood Bowl 2020 to the crowd for a minute there. <laughs> and uh, that gave Space Cadet an opening as he works over Demon Prince Rick Reckless and gets him over into a friendly corner, almost. I mean, to be fair, he's so big, he's, he's already nearly in the friendly yep. corner. <laughs> and tags in the big man, more Plovatch. Time to go to work. Oof. <laughs> oh, no, the counter on by Rick, and he's going to wrench that. Oh, look at that, that half boss and crab. We've seen that end match before, Jim. <laughs> end match. <laughs> We have, yes. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, man, another counter. <laughs> Rick's not doing so well, is he? Well, he's, I mean, he's taking on both of the team at this point. Maybe he wants to start thinking about tagging in Bezel, though. Maybe. <clears throat> oh, oh, no, look at that. Dark Leo out of nowhere, and that'll get the tag. No. Oh, yes, he did yeah. get the tag. And Bezel, <laughs> oh, Bezel miscalculates there. Gets lost. <laughs> oh, dear me. Brutal. Oh, man, could this be a win for North Country? I think you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself on this one, Jim. <laughs> More poor Max showing everybody Bezel's anus. <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, and Bezel now battling back. Oh, that running elbow. <laughs> Dial. And Bezel sending him over the ropes there. He's teetering on the apron, and he's going to just tag in Rick. Yeah. Oh no, the ref got caught. Ref got caught by that attack. Demon Prince Rick Reckless gives no fucks. <laughs> I have been I have been told on Discord that Rick is one of the dirtiest people in all of Blood Bowl. He's a complete cheating asshole who takes pleasure out of causing pain to referees and halflings. Yeah, sadistic. Sadistic pervert pleasure. It's true. <laughs> oh, he's getting on top now, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. Ooh, big scoop slam there. Rick going top rope here. Driving oh, driving boy. that elbow, maybe? Oh, no, but more Plovatch going to oh. get away. Oh, <laughs> and he dives out of the way. Well timed by Plovatch. <laughs> and Space Cadet did something effective? I don't know. Really don't know what happened there. End result, Space Cadet is on the ground being manhandled by Demon Prince Rick Reckless. Oh, and now he's going to go for that elbow drop again, I think. No, he's going for oh, the flip me. The Rick, oh, the flip me, and he misses it. Oh, the Rick roll, and whatever. Yeah, the Rick roll. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, Space going for that cover. Oh, Rick is all over the place right now. Oh, man. Can't believe it. I'm sorry, I'm super tired. That's fine. You're only bringing me down too, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> now, right, and Rick fighting in the opponent's corner gets a dirty little shot there on Mora Plovatch and yeah. is able to get Space Cadet away, but countered now Space Cadet, sending him right back to his other corner. Oh, that spear there, nicely done by Space Cadet. Not going for his patented weird ass move. No. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> oh dear! Oh, oh, space! Oh, space! No, he's uh, on hour eighteen of a uh, twenty-four hour drinking steam. Not quite in the territory where we have to worry about a dio snipe, but getting close. Oh, beautiful moon salt nails it, and here comes the pin attempt. No, bezel able to break it up. Oh man, this is ridiculous. 
<laughs> He's gonna do it again, maybe. Yeah, um, going for the elbow, I think. Oh, oh he winded himself there. <laughs> <laughs> he might not have a lot of meat on him, but his cardio leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> well, oh. here we go. Crucifix power bomb coming. This could be the beginning of the end. Yep. Good night, Space Cadet. Boosh. Rick, uh, nope, he wants top rope now. We're going to see another Rick roll. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, here it yeah. comes. Sticks the landing, goes right into the pin. But Mora <laughs> Plovac able to break it up there. And Bezel not happy about that, but lets him go. <laughs> and uh, while the match continues, Space Cadet kind of maybe thinks that probably he doesn't want it to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gets his head driven into the ring. Bezel now tagged in. Two yep. bag drivers got to be uh, in uh, in the future here for Space Cadet. Yeah, this is looking real, real bad for Space Cadet. Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> looking real bad for Space Cadet. Oh, look at these stars. Oh, just... Yeah, just stomping a, a hole through his chest there. Savage. <laughs> what is that he for? Oh, the censoring, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, oh. look at this. The old foot job from Space Cadet. <laughs> oh! Oh! Beautiful counter busts him open Huge on that counter. DDT there. And Space Cadet, if he wants to win this match, he has to tag out. Bezel, very pleased with himself right now. <laughs> Buzzer. Oh, and here we go. This is going to be a pinning attempt here. <laughs> Just the two count. More Plovach was in the ring. Rick didn't bother. <laughs> and oh, here we go. The Benzai drop. Doesn't <laughs> sit down for the pin. Now he's coming in for the pin. Rick coming in. Nope. Uh, hello, Lemon. Yeah, still plenty of time before the main event. Two matches left. We've got uh, we've got Flat Fart versus um, somebody. Crusher. Crusher, yep. And then the main event. The Snackers versus Corporate Earth. And look at this bit, the Space yep. Cadet March. Here we go. Sticks it, and now is he going up top two? He is. Oh boy! That big elbow coming. No, no, no he's, he's going for the moonsault. The moonsault nails it. And he sticks the landing. Doesn't go for the pin. He's going to tag in more Plovats to try and finish off. Bezal. And look at this Norse country. Really <laughs> looking good here. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the more blowback match. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Will he go for the elbow? He doesn't go for the elbow. <laughs> oh. Just the two count kick out, and Bezel needs some help here. He's got to tag in Rick. He's got to. Or he's got to, Or he just as a Frankensteiner. Oh. Beautiful Frankensteiner. Crowd is firmly behind him right now, which is weird. <laughs> well, they're up against the Norse. I'd, I'd cheer for a literal demon against Norse. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> of all the countries to cheer for. Yes. <laughs> Oh, and beautiful roll through. Doesn't hold on for the pin. Oh, 
Yeah, Necropotence, he's not, he's not naked. He's got, uh, he's got socks and nice shoes on. <laughs> yeah, and it's tastefully censored, so. Yeah. Oh, another Benzai drop coming. And Bezel doesn't sit down for oh, that. Oh, space space that was Distracting the ref, but not at the right time. Oh, he oh and he waits, waits for the drama. Last <laughs> second, looked like Rick pulled his hamstring there trying to get to him. <laughs> I thought uh, Space was going to miss his moment. Yeah, so did I. I thought he'd brains wormed out, but he hadn't. Demon oh Prince Rick Reckless tagged in and he's going to work on Mora Plovach. This has got to be it, surely. Now that Rick's in. Oh, boy. The crucifix powerbomb. Oh, boy. Another crucifix powerbomb by Demon Prince Rick Reckless. But is he going for the pin? He is. Space Cadet is right there. Not even trying. <laughs> Space Cadet wanted nothing to do with Demon Prince Rick Reckless after that thrashing he got earlier. Let's the match end. And here are your winners, really of no surprise. Demon <laughs> Prince Rick Reckless, Bezel, the Chaos Chosen, have defeated the Norse Country. Yes. Funny you should say that, Gengar, because when, when this started on 2K, 2K16, um, Bezel and Skuro were identical apart from their outfits. Yep. <laughs> we, we have similar features for men who live, like, 30 miles from each other. <laughs> <laughs> North country for old men. Very good. Very good, Bezel. North. <laughs> <laughs> good day, Cummy. Yeah, his face is not really a, <laughs> not really the, uh, you know, he doesn't protect his teammates or his balls. Cocky coming off of that beautiful win earlier tonight in what we thought was an elimination match, but wasn't applying that sharpshooter for the tap out victory over the crew that see our capital EWE. <laughs> but right now we have flap fart versus crusher. Two of the biggest and the baddest of the JFW Super Heavyweight Division going at it. These are two more guys who have had who have racked up some wins as of late, and either one of those these guys could also make a claim, along with Frost Lord and along with Thaw, for maybe facing Table Leg Wanger. Now remember, Flapfart, a former uh, enforcer for Team Fantastic, uh, no stranger to Table Leg Wanger, but. They have been surprisingly distant from each other as of late. So it uh, doesn't look like Flapfart ha wants anything more to do with Wanger. It's possible his loyalties lied to uh, Jimmy Minmax Tastic. Well, hashtag Jimmy's the real champ. Who could blame? Who could blame for Fault Force? Who could blame Flapfart for siding with the great one himself, Jimmy Fantastic? Well, I'm looking at that specimen in front of me, and I don't think he any he's siding with anyone. I think he is his own side, Jim. That's that's fair. But still, <laughs> I'm sure he likes Jack. Jimmy Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, our hero. There you go. Hashtag trending number one on Twitter right now worldwide. Hashtag Jimmy our hero. <laughs> or Jimmy our hero. E either one works. <laughs> yeah, poor old Jimmy still still seems to be convalescing in uh, Jimmy McMahon's private jet. He's <laughs> still hasn't been in action since. Uh, uh. The scumbag Tars has violently <laughs> assaulted him backstage. Well, I would uh, I would question the relationship between Jimmy Minmax Tastic and uh, Mr. Jim McMahon at this point. Uh, certainly, certainly hasn't seemed to uh, show any sort of uh, appreciation or remorse for the former uh, Extra Arms Belt champion uh, since that assault by Flapfart. Excuse me, by Table Leg Wanger. 
Well, here comes Crusher. <laughs> oh, God, I love his entrance. We basically always have to book him whenever we book Thaw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gengar, I don't know I don't know what you're talking about down there. <laughs> <laughs> the best show in the world. I don't know about the best, but it's certainly well, the shittest. <laughs> Muppet Pac-Man is a former champion in this industry. If anyone knows, I'd say it's him. <laughs> oh, Erica, indeed, he's a wild animal. He's definitely a minotaur. He's not a horse. He's a minotaur. <laughs> so bad. Oh, dear. I oh, have yeah, forgot. I forgot he doesn't have the. Uh... He's yeah. Oh yeah. He's got. He's got a different move set. I just remembered. Who's that? Flat Fab um, has got a different move set. Oh, yeah. look at this. Yeah, it looks like I was right, Jim. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's stupid. Oh, and yeah, certainly. Mm. There's Demon Prince Rick Reckless coming out again, distracting Crusher. We saw him take a good look at Flapfart before, and here he is again, going to stand in that ring, maybe talk about the changes to Blood Bowl 2020, maybe just <laughs> scope out that talent after his hard-fought win. Maybe Demon Prince Rick Reckless is looking to add to, uh, to the talent of the Chaos Chosen. And, of course, two Chaos Chosen themselves in the ring right now. Yeah. Oh, God, rock bottom there from Crusher. What the hell? Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> no, he's developed an awful savage. He doesn't know, does he, Vessel? It's only the rogues that have that. He's he's got a untamed fury or something or something like that. Some bollocks. Oh, oh that oh. running bulldog by Flapfart. Yeah, we've That's got a weird, weird move for him. Oh. oh. Also a weird move for him, a pretty good looking European uppercut. It's not on the yeah. level of Thog, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, this is, uh, he's got, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's got, uh, I was, I was doing things, deleting people and stuff. This is his finisher, the, the world's strongest slam. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. Not the Alt F4. No, it don't worry. It certainly back to does the, does the job. <laughs> <laughs> Flap fart easily won Rick Reckless at ringside watching, and they don't pay him by the hour, folks. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it. Uh, it's because I was moving movesets around and stuff. <laughs> so I just put him on him for a second. Never mind. We'll we'll all forget about this match. Doesn't matter. Well, it does matter because Flap fart was victorious, and Demon Prince Rick Reckless seems to like what he saw there. Yeah. <laughs> Here is your winner. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. The two of them in the ring together. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh God. look at this. Demon Prince Rick Reckless and Flapfart have found an accord. The Chaos Chosen have expanded, folks. Unbelievable oh, stuff. They are now a force to be reckoned with. Who on earth could beat Flapfart and Rick Dean? I, I, I don't really know, but we're gonna have to wait and see. That's that's insanity, isn't it? Um, right. Well, I've just got we've got the main event coming up, but um, we've just got word here of uh, something going on backstage. Oh no! Can we get can we get a camera back there, Jim? Let's get get, get our production team on it. We can. Let's get something back there. Oh God! It's it's Fan Fox. <laughs> oh, that's Fan Fox. He's wearing shit colors. He's attacking the two heads champion Frost Lord, one half of the team with Clavius. Well, I mean, technically one third, as Tony <laughs> plays poorly can also 
defend that championship. Oh, and look at this. He's setting up right away. I'm going to be on a little delay. I apologize for this. <laughs> Ooh. And now Frostlord fighting back, sending him flying. Oh, no, he sent him into the office there. It's giving him a stomp. Yeah, we saw a shit invasion last week. Muppet Pac-Man <laughs> making his presence felt against the uh, now Plim Plum Pluserweight champion, Just Joe. But what right now Triple it's... H? Yeah, Triple H is a... Uh, Triple H it was, uh, must have been visiting backstage. <laughs> That's pretty random, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's a, he, he's a good eye for talent. Probably coming to check out uh, j the shit performers here like uh, like Fan Fox. Looking for a Wednesday night show to top NXT is my guess. <laughs> that, was a, that was a great crab move by Fan Fox. <laughs> yeah, he loves that move. Oh, what a maneuver from, from Frosty. Oh, just dropping him. Frostlord in firm control right now after that comeback. Nope, Absolutely. countered and... And chopped. Oh, big back body drop though. Is it? I don't know what that was. Yeah, this is about right. <laughs> oh, but he sent in the wall there. Oh, oh he's got that chair. Oh, it's a huge chair. Absolutely. And now it looks like he's sending him outside of the uh oh, what's this? Of the office. Oh my god, it's Lemon is Good! It's Lemon is Good was waiting to ambush him, dressed for business, saying, we are gone but not forgotten. Lemon is Good with the attack. Oh my god. Lemon bleeding from the hand for some reason. <laughs> oh, but now Frostlord. Frostlord is a big competitor. Hard for these two smaller guys in a brawl like this to hang firm. But oh, now let's see. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Frosty's going up top. up top. Oh, dear. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Dangerously close to that electrical <laughs> panel. We all know what that can do. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Doesn't break open. Looks like they're okay. Oh, boy. Worms his way out, does Lemon. Yep. <laughs> oh no now frosty into that electrical panel no no also okay oh kick to the head thought that had been it but it's not lemon still no no up. this fight keeps going and uh yeah lemon is good celebrating himself he is uh very very uh want to do that quite frequently here Oh, into the electrical box again, but it doesn't yep. break. Yeah, I know, oh. maybe Fanfox having having words with... Uh, oh, no, there he is! He's come out, he's <laughs> taken over for Lemon is Good, and now he's got that, that, that chair. And, folks, if you don't understand how backstage brawls work in WWE 2K19, please understand that this took a ton of work. <laughs> oh, boy. Incredible. <laughs> oh, now Fan Fox working him down the hallway there. Finn Balor getting interviewed. I guess we must be co-opting with Raw once again. Uh, shared space, as it were. Yeah, very strange. Oh, but now Fan Fox. Frostlord, it seems to have an answer for everything these two guys can throw at him. Yeah. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! The counter! Huge counter! DDT! Beautiful counter! <laughs> Save me, Finn! <laughs> Frostlord's supposed to be in the main event, defending his title tonight. You know, Clavius yeah, already. Clavius already wrestled, went through a table. He's not going to be able to compete later tonight is frost lord going to be able to hang on he's got a title <laughs> match for his belt against the heart and soul of the jfw the unnatural snackers is it just going to be tony we're going to have to find out but frost lord is looking pretty bad now yeah it's taking his toll hasn't it fighting these two guys sure has fan fox setting him up again no countered by frost lord Frost Lord, of course, ex-Navy, no, no stranger to beating men off. 
But uh... <laughs> oh, and oh no, that scared this one scared off uh, Renee and uh, Finn over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy wow maybe shit has bitten off more than they can chew in this one Frostler oh, putting up a man. hell of a fight oh busted open though oh he's throwing him down oh he sure has and now <laughs> he's going after him in that hallway and wait a second oh <laughs> It's Lemon is good. He must have uh, jumped him uh, there. Really? <laughs> and Frostlord once again fighting back here. Unbelievable. Oh, he throws him in the foot. Oh, beautiful <laughs> tag team work. Beautiful <laughs> tag team work by these two. Absolutely incredible, incredible stuff. The flex by Fan Fox. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, now, but Lemon. Oh, Lemon thrown down. Oh, no. Frostler grabbing that oh. fire extinguisher. Oh, <laughs> hey, <boy>. Thanks, Lemon. <laughs> oh, and he's spraying him down there. Oh, no. Spraying him again. Oh, it's going it's going off <laughs> one more time. Oh Fan Fox is then all taking over. Oh Fan Fox in the haze of the spray, <laughs> jumping him, sending him into the wall. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, J5. <laughs> <That's why. laughs> oh, Oh, oh yeah. no, oh no. That might have put him out, Jim. That looked bad. We're going to have to get some help back there. It definitely now, has. Yeah, looks like this is going to have to be a handicap match. Jim, I'm hearing in my earpiece right now. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like handicap match. Tony plays poorly, seeing the footage of what just happened. He's going to go out there one on two against the Snackers, but the titles will no longer be on the line. Sorry, folks, your title match has been scrubbed. This is just a two-on-one handicap match with J uh, with J5 and Satterfield, the heart and soul of the JFW, the unnatural Snackers, against Tony Plays Poorly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clavius went through a table earlier and is not in, uh, is not able to compete and I actually forgot about just Joe entirely <laughs> but he hasn't been part he wasn't there when oh, actually no the the legal stipulation is he wasn't part of uh, mighty AF when the tag titles were won so he cannot compete with the tag titles fantastic work gorilla yes that that is that is exactly the rules <laughs> Yeah, no, freeboard rule only applies to those who were uh, legal members of team, uh, Mighty AF uh, when they won the titles. Yeah. So instead, you're going to have Tony plays poorly, your world heavyweight champion against the unnatural snackers. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> your <five. laughs> Yeah, kayfabe's the most important thing, isn't it? <laughs> oh shit, yeah, you're right. Was <laughs> fuck up, Rockwood. He hadn't signed a contract yet. He was a freelancer. Yeah. <laughs> he was only the unofficial fourth <laughs> man then. I legitimately, when I came up with all that, I forgot about Just Joe. That's yeah. the answer. <laughs> Fucking deal with it. I spent my entire morning editing that fight. <laughs> And it was amazing. By the way, by the way, the lemon the lemon frost lord fight was twenty five minutes long. Wow! I only recorded one. It was like I literally was like talking to my girlfriend in the other room for fifteen minutes, <laughs> assuming it had ended, and I went back and it was still going on. <laughs> not not you, lemon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Fan Fox, what I, so I recorded two of Fan Fox and one of Lemon, 
And uh, Fan Fox won both of his, <laughs> both with that spine buster too. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Dress for business. Uh, not only, you know, disrupting Mighty Air, but also robbing the Snackers of their title show. Yeah, you know, you gotta say, no love lost between those two teams. I don't think they care too much about that. But uh, the Snacker is not really benefiting from this. Other than maybe a surefire win on their card, well, maybe not. It's Tony plays poorly, <laughs> but losing a title shot, that's not going to feel too great. No. <laughs> baby feet out the field. <laughs> yeah, but his crotch is enormous, so it makes up for it. Mm. <laughs> Lemon is shit. <laughs> <laughs> J5. Oh, dear. Oh god, I don't know even what that means. Uh it's the it's the video it's the video of JF the JFK assassination. No, oh, is it? Yeah. I've never known that was called that. Yeah, it was filmed by some guy named Zapruder. Yeah. Should watch JFK, it's a good movie. It's not real but though. But what it? all What? It's not real though, is it? It's a, a movie. it's a fucking movie, Jim. Game of Thrones isn't real either. <laughs> it's a movie that that very uh, very entertainingly portrays a fantasiful conspiracy theory about that entire situation. Right. If you use it to win an argument about what actually happened, you're a fucking moron. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still a really good movie. <laughs> I'd rather just watch a documentary, to be honest. That's usually... My, uh, I mean, thing. if you like documentaries, there's plenty of documentaries on the JFK assassination, too. I'm just saying it's a good movie. Like, yeah. do you not watch any dramas or action movies or suspense movies? Not, not usually. Okay, well, <laughs> you're not the target <laughs> audience. <laughs> yeah, Oliver's, well, Oliver Stone's... The thing about Oliver Stone movies is... They all secretly should be titled Wouldn't It Be Cool If and then the title of the movie. So like wouldn't it be cool if JFK and that's like the action and then you're like, oh okay, yeah, that works. Oh now Satterfield with the big DDT on Tony plays poorly. Oh dear. Whoa. And now another one of these uh, fingers flying elbow drops onto Satterfield. Tony plays poorly, holding his own, as he always does. <laughs> it's a lonely life for Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're getting a pretty good glimpse of that currently. Universe, yeah. yeah, not a lot different. <laughs> Oh, dear. No, New Jack is in the wrestler, J5. <laughs> oh, boy. The legit pretty insane wrestler who has actively ended at least one other person's career on the indies, if not more. I, I don't want to play this game anymore, Hamer's Jim. <laughs> it's already too depressing. <laughs> Oof. Gotta do better than that to pin Tony. Ex exactly, Cocky. Yeah, you got it. Wouldn't it be cool if Platoon? <laughs> Platoon? Oh, there it is. Oh, good lord. He's going to the well one too many times, but at least they're not the Cena moves. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and he's got the stunner fired up. Is he going to hit it? Of course well, he fucking is. is. Good lord. Boom. Is Satterfield going to be able to break this up? Maybe not. Where's Satterfield? Okay, J5 kicks out at two. Oh my god, I would have been upset. <laughs> oh no, the ref, J5, always making sure the ref taking some damage. And so, oh, this looks bad. Oh, good lord. That'll break your spine, Jim. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> Just the two count. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think the reason Satterfield didn't come in is he uh, he already knew where they were going because he's so good as a tag team partner for J5. He needed the extra minute and a half to get up to the top turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Well, yeah, he's stomping the gut, but with those tiny feet, how much damage are you really going to do there, Jim? Oh, quite a lot of things. I mean, oh, yeah, PSI, we've yeah. been through this. We yeah. went through this last show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that <laughs> huge running knee, though. And that might have put Tony out. I don't think so. <laughs> no, a two count kick out. <laughs> Classic Tony plays poorly. He only gives up sometimes. Tonight might be one of those nights, though, because uh, this is a tough, t tough ask, isn't it? Casually sure kicking is. him in the head there, so I think. <laughs> I wish it could change the seat, the feet size. I don't know how this is small in this gym. Maybe you can. Maybe you can with the uh, with the night demon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if only you could. I think it just must be different shoes, right? It must be different shoes, make different size feet. Yeah. But you used to be able to change different news, but you used to be able to change the feet size in the old ones. He has one on that arm. Before, yeah, he beat like EAB and. He had been bezel, didn't he? Yes, he did. He's the only person to ever win a handicap match in the JFW. Yeah, unbelievable. Oh, he's going top rope, Tony. He's looking at J5 as he does it, sending a message. <laughs> oh, misses though. <though. laughs> and the message is well received by Satterfield. <laughs> Here comes the black mask. Oh, oh that's got to be it, Jim. <laughs> It is. And it is. The unnatural snackers, the heart and soul of the JFW, have won tonight. No thanks to uh, to Dressed for Business, for who sake, stole Tony. their tag title shot shit. by removing Frostlord, but gave them the handicap match. Who knows what would have happened if this had been a fair fight? Would we have new two heads champions? They're forever pursuing those titles. But they have the win tonight over Tony Plays Poorly. And once again, shit on the offensive. No response thus far from Mr. Jim McMahon. I'm sure that's not going to last much longer. But that's going to do it for Monday Night Claw. And if you want more wrestling action, folks, in just two days, Wednesday, 8 p.m. UTC, round one of Scaramezzo's High Intensity Tournament will continue come join us in the shit fest we've got four <laughs> new matches from the first round of that tournament as always my name is gorilla mezzo thank you so much for having me jim thank you very much gorilla <laughs> thanks for watching everyone <laughs> don't forget to watch this uh this celebration <laughs> 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 and uh, leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic